Alrighty, tubes. Well, uh, we're at Jack down here at the October show. Got the usual setup here. And, uh, I you know, got the 1958 9 horsepower Wisconsin with the uh, 3500 watt Winco generator on it. Runs great, but currently out of gas, so I'm not going to be starting that. Got the uh, 1920, uh, I don't know if I said 58 on that, that's 1958, 1928 Maytag gas powered washer with a Maytag 92 model uh, engine under it. It's been a while since I made an engine video. I think this, I think this ran out of gas. Yeah, this ran out of gas too. Anyway, take my word for it, it runs. Got a new addition to the uh, Hit Misfit crew over here. Meet Maddie, Maddie Tubes. <laughs> um, yeah, got the uh, coal stove going here. 1929 Briggs and Stratton FH. Running like a dream. Power Hercules model JI, not JK. This is the strictly gasoline motor. This is my first engine. Run like a run like a dream. It was the water was boiling, but I uh, I just recently topped it off, so it kind of cooled it down. 1925 or 6, I can't remember right now. Uh, McCormick Deering M, one and a half horsepower. Most of these I'm sure you, you guys have seen before. We got a rigged up fuel system here, temporary. And uh, this this is a, just quit on me just now, but it's uh, it ran, runs off of uh, ignition is a Model T buzz coil, and the battery's starting to die on me, so it's not running too well. But uh, 1925 four horsepower liter field force pump. Runs pretty good. As you can see, it's been running a while. 1928 two horsepower Jaeger model S for safety disc flywheels. start that leader up in a second but uh, this is driving a uh, Buffalo Forge Company uh, blower but it came out of a sawmill did something with the saw dust and blows a decent amount of decent amount of wind I got it yesterday here for 75 bucks hey it does have a repair here but it looks all right still let me, uh, let me go fire up that leader real quick. Alright, well I got the leader running here. It, uh, it's a little temperamental sometimes, like just right now, just stalled again. Hey, who do we have here? We got three draw Chuck. How are you? I'm doing good. Ah, that's good. Yeah, you're the guy with the exhaust whistle, right? That's right. Yeah. Stop by later. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll show you guys in a second. He has a Model T exhaust whistle on a, uh, a Gravely, right? Yeah. Alright, let me fire this thing back up again. The, the battery's dying, so. Hey, thank you, man. We'll see you later. Yeah, I've, I've had that uh, that ignition battery for a couple of years now, so I'm sure it's starting to die, but it's running for now. You guys have never seen this one or this one in a separate video. Oh, there it goes. Let's see if I can start it with one hand here. Yeah, the battery's, the battery's really dying. This thing has a massive amount of compression. It's pretty hard to turn it over sometimes. And this is probably one of the hardest hitting hit and misses that I've ever seen.
I mean, it hits hard. Yeah, we got a good show going. Alrighty. Well, uh... Well, uh, we'll go over to Free Jaw Chuck's place. His, uh, his YouTube uh, page is, uh... Maple RC Farm or something like that. RC Maple Farm. Yeah, something like that. It's, it's one, one or the other. I'll, I'll see if I can put it in the, the uh, description for you guys. But anyway, we'll uh, see if there's anything else to videotape. So, see you then. They got the Fairbanks running. Looks like he's just going to shut it off. Wow, that sounds good. Yep, that's it. They don't have any cooling on it yet, so. Oh, never mind. There he goes. Smoke ring. There you go. All right. Well, we're uh, we're back in our spot here. I uh, I failed to mention my little uh, my little new toy here I, that I did not expect to get. So uh, story goes, it was uh, what Saturday night here last night or Friday night. And uh, it's like 11 something at night because I slept over here. And I come back to my spot, and this is just sitting here. So someone must have must have just given it to me or something, and I really appreciate it. I friends of mine here know who it was. I'm not quite sure who it was, but I really appreciate it nonetheless. It's a uh, Fairbanks Morris Z uh, style D. The uh, carburetor. The, mix, the needle valve was stuck in the boss for the, you know, the, where the needle seat is and they snapped it off, so. I could probably fix that. It is pot metal. I could probably JB weld it back together. But a buddy of ours, Rob Charles, had a uh, another carburetor, so 15 bucks later and uh, we're good to go. But then, oh, and another thing I got, off topic second, uh, Model T rear tire chains never open in their original bag. Ten bucks from our buddy Terry. But, uh, let me take this back cover off here. Yeah, it's an earlier style because it has this, this mag on it. But, uh, it does have intermediate spark. I'm not sure if that's just, I had a bad ground while testing the spark or, uh, something's up with the magneto. But I did get fire out of it, so that's good. I poured some gas down the spark plug hole, but, uh, the timing's way off, so but that's not a big big problem. Yeah, pop metal uh, mag gear. You can access everything from taking this cover off. The uh, the little little uh, I don't know if you can see that. The uh, end of the governor finger there uh, snapped off because it's pot metal so I'm gonna have to fix that but it does have does have a little bit of compression but uh, it shouldn't be too bad to get running but yeah whoever just dropped this off thank you very much uh, it's certainly it's going to a great home I'm trying to do this one-handed <laughs> I'll wait but uh, yeah thank you very much and uh, you know, there'll be definitely more videos to come of pretty much all of my engines, so. Yeah, but thanks again, and there'll be more to come in this video. Alrighty, well, uh, what's your channel name again? RC, RC Maple Farm or Maple... Mr. C.R. Maple Mr. Mr. C.R. Maple Farm. He finally remembered. I don't think the farm is part of it, but... Yeah, I think it, I think it is. I don't know, we'll find out, put it in the, the description for you. But yeah, 
has a uh, Model T exhaust whistle on it. Usually this tractor is a one pull wonder. You All right, well hold on. Let me get away from this before you start making no, I won't making go. noise. I'll let you know when it's going. All right, whenever you're ready, I guess. Stepping back here. Come on, give her a pull there, three jaw chuck. <laughs> All right, eh? Cool. All righty. Enough of this. All right, well, kind of a, an abrupt ending, but, you know, it's always, we're, we're always busy at the shows, but we got everything packed up, and thanks again for that, uh, that Fairbanks. We'll definitely be seeing more videos of that. Hey, what do you say, Rob? Enough of this? Enough of this, too. Yep, yeah. Love <laughs> these chicken grease. What'd you say, Kevin? Love beast chicken grease. Yep, yeah, you got that right. All right, yeah, we got everything packed up. Everyone's gone. We're like the last people here. What do you say? What do you say, Craig? Greg? I say you got a lot of stuff. Yeah, I say I got a lot of a lot of heavy stuff. All right, what do you say, Maddie? Say bye to the tubes. That's all right. All right, hey, see you later, guys.